Hey everyone, Caliber Whips here, and uh, today I thought I'd show you guys really quick a little video on uh, getting BBs inside of a parachute cord because I get this question every now and then, and um, I thought I'd do a little video on it. So I've had a couple of people ask me what I do to expand the paracord, and I don't expand it. Um, the real trick is to find the right brand of cord. That's what I usually do. Now I've heard some whip makers use uh, like 650 cord, which is apparently thicker um, to the point where you can fit BBs in. Now I've bought in 650 cord and for some bizarre reason it's actually smaller than 550. I don't know why but um, that being said I, the brand of cord that I use is just this stuff right here. It's just this made in China trash that you can find at Home Depot. Um, I don't use it for bellies or overlays. I only use it as a shell to hold BBs. That's it. Now, some people may wonder, well, what if I want to change up the color? Like, for example, if they want to build a snake whip. And uh, if, like, for example, Nick's Whip Shop's recipe, I know that's going to come up. And uh, what if this expands into the four plat? And if you're not careful, it might shine through. Well, when you go from six plat to four plat, you might want to consider using one of the overlay strands as a core strand. And um, if you guys are, if you guys have made whips for a while, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're brand new, uh, you may you may be a little bit lost by what I mean by that. But anyways, I prefer using this stuff when uh, I fill up paracord with BBs. This is just the brand that I, I prefer using. So that being said, this is what it looks like when you first get it. It's uh, not 550. It's just this, it, it's got this white fluffy stuff in it. I really don't know how else to put it. It's like this three braid, it's like twisted uh, nylon rope. I used to make cloud crackers out of it before I discontinued them. But the way that I like to do it, uh, really fast, I'll show you guys, I'll take my, uh, I'll take a lighter. Uh, depending on what, how you're going to attach it, I'll singe off one end completely, and then uh, barely do that to the point where I close off the uh, end. So when the BBs st uh, start filling up, I have a little flap to either glue or kind of attach to uh, the steel rod or nail. So for this, I've said in the past that I use this right here. This is actually a 3 16 inch um, steel screwdriver rod, or exactly five millimeters if you're outside of the US. And uh, basically, if I can get this to fit, if I can sheath a piece of cord over it, then that means it can fit BBs. So then what I'll do is I'll take it, feed it over, and torch it, just like that. Keep it from fraying. Now, if you guys have a scratch all, it'll work even better because it spreads open even farther. But uh, yeah, worst case scenario, you can use this. Every whip maker should have one of these, a scratch all. Um, they are very helpful. And then what I'll do is I can fit up to two, three BBs in here at once. I think I can do it where I think I can slide up to five BBs at once because there are some people. The cord is so tiny, um, they end up grinding like a fork against one BB. I think this is five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five. Oop, there we go. I just moved five all the way down a uh, one foot section of cord. Now, again, this is still a tedious process, but using the right amount of cord can, uh, or using the right brand of cord, can really uh, go a long way. No joke. So, yeah, that being said, this is what I use to uh, fill up BBs. This is the type of cord I use when I make shot bags. So, you know, if you guys uh, find that helpful, uh, let me know, but uh, this is what I use. You can pick this up at any hardware store, ever built, nylon and poly blends, lightweight and strong rope stuff. So yeah, that being said, that's what I use to fill up cord with BBs. So if you guys enjoyed, uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.